Let me just call some people. I remember how to do that. I think it's in here. Yes. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone looking forward to the winter break? I can't wait. <laughs> Are you getting a lot of work from your uh, teachers? No, just extra credit mostly. That's good. Nathan, did you look at that thing? The um, the murder mystery thing? Yeah, I looked at it. Uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm, I already started working on it. Awesome. It's fun. Good morning. Hi, who's that? Nayeli. Hi, Nayeli. You have the, uh, who's doing the Brianna? Is Brianna here? Maybe Brianna's not here yet. Brianna's doing the attendance. Uh, write present guys in the chat so um, when Brianna comes, she can write your um, name down. And um, is Khalid here yet? No? Um, I'll just wait for some more people to come. You know, in um, in France, they celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve for some reason, and they give all their gifts on Christmas Eve. I don't know why, but they do that. All right, I'm just going to invite a few people here, and, and then we'll get started. It's not going to be very long today because it's the last day. We're going to do a Kahoot, and I'm just going to talk about the extra credit assignment, and then... Um, just want to go over a couple of little things. Um, so you can all go into your um, winter break. Remember, we're back on January 4th. So you have all of next week off. And um, I think it's like 10 days or something in total. Uh, so it's a good long break. Chance to recharge your batteries, whatever you have to do. It's supposed to snow next week. That's what I hear. Don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I hope Lutza comes because it's her birthday today, and I want to say sing her happy birthday. All right. Is anyone else? Let's see. Brianna, are you here? Yes. Hi, Brianna. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you writing people's names down? Yes, I'm about to do it right now. Beautiful. So I write you the right. Ah. No. What's that? One. Write down present. Um, so you can get your name. All right. Um, how many do we have? We've got a good number. Okay, let's get started. Maybe. Uh, thirty-seven. All right. Um, let me share my screen if I remember how to do that. Uh, I think it was desktop before, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah. 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 Where it says holidays Wednesday lesson agenda. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who's I mute can't see. That is. Maybe you could mute yourself. Whoever has music in the background. Okay. Um, so right present in the chat. Um, is Lutza here? Lutza, are you here? Oh, Lutza's not here. I was going to sing her happy birthday. It is ha uh, Lutza Bruno's birthday today. She's not here, so we won't sing her happy birthday. But happy birthday, Lutza. Um, a couple of things. Um... So we do have a very nice long break now. Um, when I'm going, I've, I've graded everything that I have received up until this morning. So if you submitted work, I would have graded it unless you did it this morning. Um, a lot of you are a few assignments behind. If you are probably more than three assignments behind, then um, I would have sent you a message, okay, in chat, a private message. Um, 
you should reply to that message so I don't have to worry about you. Okay, and you should also do some work. Um, a lot of you are saying to me, um, oh yeah, Mr. Wick, um, I'll do the work. And then like a week later, I go in and you haven't done the work still. That makes me even more worried. And um, then I start to think about, um, do I need to call your home? Um, you guys probably don't want that, right? So um, make sure that um, if I send you a message, you reply to my message. And if your reply is that I'm going to do the work, Mr. Wick, then you do the work because um, otherwise I will be um, talking to your parents and asking them uh, why they're not doing Mr. Wick's work. OK, um, any questions about work? All right, moving on. I think we've had six assignments. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Um, I think we've had six assignments so far. I think we're going to have something like probably looks like about 11 or 12 assignments for this unit. So there's probably going to be another six in January. And then um, that'll be the end of the semester. Right? And then we're going to have a break for a week where we're just going to do a practice regents. And then we are going to do poetry. So that's what we're going to start in the spring term, it looks like. Okay, hope you all like poetry. I love poetry. All right, a um, couple of things um, that I've noticed when I'm grading work. First thing is a lot of you are saying genetic engineering is bad. Well, maybe, but bad is not a very good word to use because two reasons. One, um, bad is very, very vague. Okay, um, it doesn't really mean anything and also what's bad for one person might not be bad for someone else okay so instead of using the word bad all right when we're talking about genetic engineering perhaps think about using the word harmful because then we know that harmful is bad for everybody right everybody thinks that harmful is a, is a bad thing okay and it's a more descriptive word because it's saying you know if we're talking about genetic engineering on babies and um, you're saying that it's harmful to the baby, which a lot of you are saying, right? That's a lot more specific than using bad, okay? Because bad is kind of meaningless, same as good, right? Okay, um, the other thing is, I think it's assignment 3.5 or 3.6, the one about making a qualified claim, okay? A lot of you um, did this. Some of you that did it, I, um, when I gave you feedback, I said, you know, this is not a qualified claim and please go back and change it. All right. Um, let me just go over real quick the difference between a basic claim and a qualified claim. Okay, a basic claim is like something like genetic engineering should be allowed because it presents harmful diseases. Okay, so that claim is saying that genetic engineering should always be allowed. Right, in every case. Now, what we know about genetic engineering is there are a lot of different kinds of genetic engineering. Okay, um, IVF, for example, in vitro fertilization is a form of genetic engineering. Um, but with IVF, all you're really doing is letting, letting parents who um, can't have children have children. I, I think most of us would think that that's okay, right? That's a good form of genetic engineering. So that's why we have qualified claims, because sometimes we want to say genetic engineering should only be allowed in certain cases. All right. So a qualified claim has that word, has to have that word only in it or something like only. Genetic engineering should only be allowed to prevent harmful diseases. All right. So a qualified claim is really just a claim that's saying in certain cases it's OK. But in other cases, it's not OK, right? So maybe genetic engineering should only be allowed to prevent harmful diseases. Right? Maybe genetic engineering should only be allowed if it doesn't hurt the baby, right? Um, and that means also that in most other cases of genetic engineering, it shouldn't be allowed, right? So that's what a qualified claim is. That's all really it is. Um, if you did that assignment, I think it's 3.5 or 3.6, um, 
I would have written on the feedback if I if you did it and I returned it to you that you can change your post, your um, post on the Padlet to make it qualified claim and you could get a better claim. Okay, so that's up to you if you want to do that. Any questions about that? All good? Okay. Wait, so, so you could change what we had before and then send you a picture to change that gray from before to a better grade? Yeah, you could send me a picture or you could just change it on the Padlet. All right, so if you did it on the Padlet, um, if you find your post on the Padlet and um, there's a little like icon where you, I think it looks like a pencil. Um, let me show you actually. Whoever that is, can you mute? That's my school. I was um, playing the Jonas Brothers because I thought that's what I had to do to fit in. It's what we call code switching. Changing the way you present yourself, the way okay. that you speak. That you know, you know, you know, Hi, Mr. Wick. Okay, oh, thank you. Um, all right, let me just find the. Let's just uh, here. Okay, so here's the Padlet, right? And if you want to change your claim, all you do is go to that little pencil icon, okay, edit post, and you can go in and edit your post, right? And then you just like click out of it and it will just save it, okay? But if you want to send me a picture, you can do that as well. All right, if you are changing your post, all right, you've got to either submit the assignment again or tell me that you're changing it, because otherwise I'm not going to know. All right, um, and just a reminder, if you did this and didn't write your name, it's going to be one of these ones in pink, apart from Angelie's, who's in purple, because she wanted purple. Um, so if you did this assignment and you didn't write your name on it, you got to tell me because otherwise I can't give you a grade. Okay. All right. Any questions? All good. No questions. How will you know? Oh, okay. Um, I just want to talk about the extra credit assignment. This is if you get bored over Christmas. Um, it's like a murder mystery and it's called the mysterious death of Sid the sloth. This is Sid. He's a sloth or he was a sloth. Um, and it's an extra credit assignment. It's kind of like a fun, like murder mystery thing where um, in the assignment, you'll see there's all these different types of evidence. Um, there's also a little video where I explain how you can kind of try and solve this crime. And um, you have to look at the evidence um, and then try and solve uh, how was Sid killed? Why was he killed? Who killed him? All right, and you're gonna put it into a claim, just like the claims we've been doing in the past, right? Um, so your claim has to include who, how, and why, and the evidence you used to solve the crime. Um, I did this in previous years. It's hard, right? Not a lot of people got it. And um, so, you know, do your best with this. It's, it is extra credit. Even if you get your claim wrong, but you make a good claim backed up by evidence, you would still get extra credit, right? So don't worry if you don't entirely know what the answer is. Um, I will reveal when we get back uh, what the answer is. Um, so that assignment is due the first day we get back, January 4th, um, as is the assignment I posted on Monday, okay? Um, yes, that's it. Uh, any questions about the extra credit assignment? No? No. Yep, all good. This is what it looks like. All right, watch the video first. Um, assess the evidence. Think about what's the strong evidence. Make connections between pieces of evidence. That's how you solve this crime. All right, you've got to look at one piece of evidence and like think, oh, but that reminds me of something I saw on another piece of evidence. Okay, um, so making connections. That's how crime scene investigators solve crimes. And then make your claim on the Padlet. Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to play a uh, quiz. Who is my um, Arna? Is Arna here? Arna, yeah, are you I'm here? here today. Arna is not here today. No, I am here today. Oh, you are here today. Yes. So you're going to read the um, the read read the the questions for the quiz. Yeah. Beautiful. So the quiz is uh, holiday movies, and um, as before, it'll be a Kahoot quiz. 
I'm going to put the um, it up now. Go to kahoot.it and the pin is going to come up in a minute. Sorry, my computer is a bit slow today. I don't know if Whoopty is here, hopefully. Okay, so kahoot.it, the pin will come up in a minute. Here it is, 1559819. You just have to write your first name if you want to play. And it's all, uh, I think there are 14 questions on um, holiday movies. Maybe you know it. Ken, is that Kensley? Kensley, is that you? I'm going to guess that's Kensley. Babe, you know it again. We'll find out who these people are eventually. Antigone, former winner. Oh, no. Who's won so far? I think Saita is one. Simone won the last time. Nikoi is one, and Antigone is one. I think I'm Andy, I think Andy won then, and Nayeli won, I think, once. All right, 18 we have in the, in the game. Riley, I like that mask. I'm so excited because I know a lot of Christmas movies. I'm just so happy. <laughs> and Simone, you won the last game as well, so you're on a bit of a streak. Yes, I hope so. Well, a couple of the movies are kind of old. Even oh, older. Um, we'll see. Anybody else want to play? So wait, it's not like The Grinch or The Nightmare Before Christmas? Some like of them are like that. Yep. Oh. Most, of them, most of them are recent. Most of them are recent, but there's a couple of old ones. Just um, you know, make it more difficult. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to write. What's that? I said, well, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm just going to write. Well, one of them is a really famous film. One of them I'm going to write. I'm going to write in the chat the pin. If anybody wants to join, um, now's the time to do it. Anybody else? Okay, let's get started. Um, Anna is going to read out for us. Thank you, Anna. Guess the movie. Elf, Christmas Carol, White Christmas, or Home Alone? Remember, when you do these um, quizzes, right, if you do it, answer quicker, that's um, you get more points. But if you don't get it right, then you don't get so many points. It is Home Alone. Everybody got that apart from one person. Very good. Okay, Antigone, then Ashley, then Simone. Oh, girls winning. Okay, questions. Guess the movie. Elf, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, or Home Alone? Aren't you supposed to say the color? She could, yeah, I don't know, if you don't mind saying the color. Oh, Elf is okay. red. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas is yellow, Frosty the Snowman is blue, and Home Alone is green. There you go. Um, yes, good. This was Elf. Very funny movie. Oh, Litzer is here. Maybe we'll sing Litzer Happy Birthday after this. All right. Ashley is winning. And Michael. Guess the movie. Home Alone, red. Frosty the Snowman, yellow. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, blue. Green Christmas Vacation. The answer is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, not Christmas Vacation. Ashley in the lead. Question four. Guess the movie. Charlie, Charlie Brown Christmas, red, elf, yellow, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, blue, or Frosty the Snowman, green? Uh, 
All right, Charlie Brown Christmas. Maybe I made this quiz way too easy. Okay. Nathan in the lead. All right. Let's see. Question five. Guess the movie. Elf, Red, Christmas Vacation, Yellow, Miracle on 13th Street, Blue, It's a Wonderful Life, um, Green. This movie always on every Christmas. Pretty much. All right, yes, yeah, this is an old film from like the 50s or something. It's I, I didn't realize it was two hours long. Yeah, it's a long, long movie. Yeah, long movie. The iPad just died. Uh. <laughs> you got Simone? Simone, do you need a minute to uh, come back in? Maybe she's Yes, gone. please. I'm sorry. Hold up. I'm coming. I'm going to join for myself. Well, while, while Simone's getting back in, um, what do we want to do the next quiz on? I had some suggestions. Pokemon. Um, Can we do cars? Can you do cars? Yeah. yeah. Um, do we know a lot about cars, people? I don't know. Let's do fast food. Know the game. <laughs> <laughs> or like Disney or like movies. Disney movies. Basketball teams. I had a suggestion. Yeah. No fast food. And we could do basketball teams. Fast food. Disney yeah. teams. Okay, I'm Black back. Um, TikTok trends. I think that was... Um, who was that? Was that Arna? Was that you, back. TikTok trends? I, I said that, yeah. You said that one, yeah. Um, all right, I'll have a think about it over over the Christmas break. I know American literature, and that might just be you, Nathan, want to do that one. I'm not sure. Flags, cities. All right, I'll think about it. All right. Uh, Simone, are you back in now? Yes, but unfortunately, it says I'm in zero place. I literally just lost all my points. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're going back to the beginning again. All right, questions? Thank you for waiting. No problem. Um, guess the movie. It's a Wonderful Life, Red, Elf, Yellow, Christmas Story, Blue, and a Miracle on Thirteenth on Thirty Fourth Street, Green. Oh, Tayab is here. Hi, Tayab. It's nice to meet you. I haven't seen you before. Um, yes, this is a Christmas story. I've never seen this film. Is it any good? I, I I was planning to see it, but I never it's seen it fun. either. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nathan, Gage, Ashley, Melissa, Saita, former win. Question seven. Okay. Guess the movie. It's a Wonderful Life, Red, Miracle on Thirteenth Street, Yellow, White Christmas, Blue, or Home Alone, Green. You know what I'd like to do a quiz on is like Spanish because I'm learning Spanish at the moment. You you guys all do pretty much all do Spanish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Spanish quiz. Would that be a good one? I don't sure. have Spanish. The yeah, Spanish teacher's gonna love me. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, all the questions will be in Spanish. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Next, who's winning? Nathan still in the lead, Gage in second, Melissa in third. Question eight. Honey? Okay, guess the movie. Red, Miracle on 13th Street, Yellow Santa Claus, Blue Holiday Inn, or Green Home Alone? No Spanish. Okay. Mm. Okay, Santa Claus. Must be some question in the background. Question nine. Could this be the first time I um, win? Guess the movie. <laughs> Holiday in Bad Santa. Holiday in Red. Bad Santa Yellow. It's a wonderful light. Sorry, sorry. Blue. You can't see, guys. Sorry, sorry. My bad. And the Nightmare Before Christmas Green. My bad. About Oh, you guys watch a lot of holiday movies. Yes, this is a night bed for Christmas. Yeah, Nathan, I think you might win. Question 10. Okay, guess the movie. 
Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, Red, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Yellow, Bad Santa, Blue, and The Nightmare Before Christmas Green. Okay, we all got this. A pretty popular film, I guess. The Grinch Stole Christmas. And we're very close at the top. Question 11. Guess the movie. Um, Frosty the Snowman Red, Christmas Vacation Yellow, Holiday in Green, or White Christmas Blue? It's an old movie, I think. This one. All right, the answer is White Christmas. Um, very famous song came from that movie. All right, Nathan, very close there at the top here. Neck and neck. Neck and neck, it's neck nerve indeed. nerve wracking. <laughs> okay. Guess the movie, Frosty the Snowman, Red, Elf, Yellow, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Blue, Star Wars Christmas Special, Green. All you got for us to do some ending, okay. Very close. Um, I think we have two questions left. Okay, guess the movie. Um, Elf, Elf Red, Christmas Story Yellow, Jingle All the Way Blue, Christmas Vacation um, Green. Okay, this is Jingle All The Way with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, uh, when he was still an actor. All right, so... <gasps> that... Oh, I, I got the last question wrong, but I still won. I got okay. it wrong, and I got to fourth place. Ah, okay. So, last question, last question. Oh, oh my God. So much, so much drama. Okay, guess the movie. A Christmas Story, Red, Home Alone, Yellow, Miracle on 34th Street, Blue, and Christmas Carol Green. Wow, you got this. I thought this was a hard one. Christmas Carol. Anyone know who wrote Christmas Carol? No. Lero, Lewis Carroll? I don't know. Not Lewis Carroll. Charles Dickens, British writer. Um, all right, let's see who won. Third place, Antigone, former winner. Second place, Gage. And I guess that means in first place, is it Nathan Trevino? Finally. Mr. Trevino finally wins. Well done, Mr. Trevino. Long struggle. Extra credit and glory is all yours. Um, so have a wonderful vacation, everybody. Lutza, are you there? Lutza. Is Lutza there? I don't know. I don't know if Lutza is there. Um, if Lutza, you are there, happy birthday. Have a great vacation, everybody. And um, have a nice time off. I Thanks. will see you when we get back from the Christmas break. Um, how do I get back into this meeting? The perfect end to a Christmas break. Perfect end to the Christmas break. There you go. Oh, here we go. Um, and uh, do some work if you're behind. I will be monitoring teams over the Christmas break. So if you have any questions, send me a question. Um, if not, have a wonderful um, vacation, everybody. Um, stay safe. I'm you. Stay warm. Hi, Lutza. Can we sing you happy birthday? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's sing Lutza happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. you. Yay! Look, how Thank old are you? Thank you. Let's see, how old are you? 13, 14? I think she's good. All right. Um, happy birthday, Lutza. Um, sorry if you had a birthday and we didn't sing happy birthday to you. 
sometimes I see it when it comes up on um, when I do your attendance. Right, it tells me today. Thank you, Mr. Today. Thank you, Mr. Wig. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And have a great vacation, everybody. I'll see you in January. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 You too. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you next year. See you next Bye. year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.